Okay. I kind of don't really want to deal with it. You're running out of space on your weird little table, dude. Happy days from the time you wake up to the time you go to sleep. <sighs> Unending days of blah, blah, blah. If the world were like that, I'd consider that pretty damn abnormal. Nothing you say ever makes sense to anything. Stop existing. So many crabs. All right, well, I'm next level confused. I can tell you that much. Gurn. The gurniest. It took longer than usual for me to open my eyes. Ha. Huh. I let out a deep sigh to bring myself up the rest of the way. The chills, the aches, the unfathomable lethargy. They had all disappeared on the night. All that was left for me, ah, all that was left was me drenched in sweat. It wasn't just because of whatever bug I'd caught either. It was also that dream I had. What the hell was that? I mean, was it even really a dream? Are you talking about you talking to yourself or Luchadore? I scrambled to grab onto fragments of my dream and reel them up from the depths of my memory. That's right, I remember last night. I came down with a fever and couldn't quite get to sleep. And I heard a voice. I didn't really understand. And then... All of a sudden, I was awake! Tell, tell El Luchadore Don Magnifico showed up with a big old honking knife. And they were holding a big old knife. In fact, the knife, to be more specific. I want to say I fought them off, but I don't actually remember. I felt like my mind had been detached from my body, burning up with my fever. I was somewhere far away, watching my body move on its own. And because of that, I don't remember what really happened. But still, I feel like I resisted them desperately, feverishly. After that, things go black again. The next thing I remember was apparently Kyoko. Howdy dowdy. But what would she have been doing in my room? What a strange dream. No, was it really a dream? How could I possibly find out either way? I don't know, but I suppose talking to people about it would probably be good. Is there any way to confirm it? If that really was a dream or not? Oh, oh, I know how. Is the, is the bleh, knife gone? I open the desk drawer and, eh, it's empty. There's nothing inside. Wait, nothing inside? That's strange. Because it definitely wasn't before. I'm positive I put the knife I got from Toko in here. Wait, that means... Dun 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 dun! The knife they told me to keep safe! I knew it! I just had a feeling. It wasn't a dream after all. But if that's true, this all makes even less sense. Why would someone have wanted to attack me? And who was that behind the mask? And, what, why, and why was Kyoko... What the hell's going on? Well, I don't think I'm gonna figure it out on my own. Should probably go talk to people about this. Eh, I could talk to everyone else about it. Why do I feel like we're not actually going to do that, though, and something else happened? Let's see. That's just kind of how it works with things that happen to Makoto. Th you know, various circumstances tend to arrive that force him to not be able to actually... Hey, Makoto. What's up, girl? To be able to actually talk about stuff. Yep, that's Makoto. Sure as the sky's blue. Hey, Ina. What be the haps? Um, you really had me worried, you know. What happened to you last night? Worried? Yeah, right after nighttime hit, we all went to get you. You were hammering away at your doy, your doy bill, but you never answered. We thought maybe you'd been, you know. <laughs> I mean, not that they'd actually happen. I mean, nobody here would want to, you know. So anyway, what were you doing? I didn't feel good, so I went right to bed. I had no idea you guys even showed up. But why did you come get at me? Did something happen? Uh, well, lots of stuff, actually. I'm not sure I can really explain. Okay. Let's go meet up with everyone else, then they can tell you about it. In what regard? Is everyone waiting somewhere else or something? That's right. Oh yeah, we stayed up all- we stayed it up the whole night. The whole night? <laughs> I lost a rock, paper, scissors, so I had to come get breakfast for everyone. Okay. So, you got here just in time. Come on, help me carry it. Okay, sure. <laughs> Everyone's in the gym. Hurry up, I'll meet you there. The gym? Why is everyone in the gym? And what's a gym? In the entire night. Alright. Back, 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 back it up. Running, 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 running. Gotta get to the gym, to the gym, to the game, game, game. To do the game, to the game, to the goom, goom, gow. To see what be going down with all the evil clowns. And stuff of that nature. 
Can't trust them, man. Evil clowns. Ah, there he is. Huh? This is oh, worse than hey, being late for your wedding, the birth of your son, and your own funeral all at once. What? Jeez, to show up now like it's no big deal? <laughs> you made us stay up all night while you slept like a baby in your bed? Just like Hina said, everyone was there, besides Kyoko. And then I noticed. They formed a circle around something. As soon as I saw what that something was... What the? Before I could catch myself, I cried out. The crap? Sprout out in front of them were the remains of Monokuma. What are you doing? The flip? What does it look like? We're dismantling it to see what makes it tick. Dismantling? But I mean, that's Monokuma you're messing with, right? How did you even? Yeah, that's right. Why are you all so chill about this? She's not even phased. Hmm. Relax, there's no danger. You say that, but what is this? What are you doing? You, Professor Nerd Lord Von Nerdington, explain. What were you thinking? How can you start tearing apart something like that? Isn't dangerous, what? idiot. If you hadn't been sleeping in, you'd already know what's going on. Hey, come well, I guess on. I'll handle this. I'll explain what's going on, Makoto, because that's how much I like you. Hmm. Back ya, found this little fellow lying around. Then we tore it apart. That doesn't explain anything. What? Just before we went to bed last night, I came to the gym to try and talk to Monokuma. I wanted to see if he had any inf new information about Kyoko's disappearance. And I found him here, just like normal. However, when I found him, he was no more than a regular toy. He didn't react, didn't say a word. You're saying he wasn't moving at all? Hmm. I waited there until nighttime officially began, but still, Monokuma laid there motionless. I gathered everyone up as quickly as possible so they could take a look. Even then, he still didn't make a move. So I immediately initiated the disassembly process. <laughs> no one cares, Toko. Hmm. One thing we discovered is that he's quite a sophisticated machine. This leagues beyond any normal remote control toy. Who has enough free time to invest in something like that anyway? But besides that, what I'm wondering is, why did he stop moving all of a sudden? Hmm. And I thought maybe he malfunctioned, but we didn't find any causes we were taking him apart. So if he didn't break so down, other words. then maybe something happened to his puppeteer, the mastermind. Something unexpected. I can't imagine any other possibility. Something unexpected. They were probably... <laughs> uh, no one cares. Or maybe they got sick or something. But Monokuma made his announcement this morning, right? Who was that, if not the mastermind? Hmm. Oh, I'm sure that's a recording. It's set to a timer and plays as necessary. Hmm. That's true. He says the exact same thing every day, right? Hey. hey guys, I don't think now's a good time for light conversation. You know? I just found something. What is it? Why, that good sir would be an explosive. Huh? It's what? Hmm. A bomb. There's one installed in every Monokuma robot, I'm sure. What? A bomb! <laughs> that's super bad. Get rid of it. Uh Roger that! Hmm. It appears the bomb has a motion sensor. Any sudden movements, it's sure to go off. Whoa. Motion sensor? For serious? Uh, I'm starting to get shaky. Just a second. Hey, get it together. You're a man, aren't you? Yeah. I'm fine. I'm totally fine. <laughs> you're so not fine. You're all wiggly wagging. Oh, I probably should have mentioned. The motion sensor is off right now. <laughs> Jeez, don't scare me like that. God, you're like the world's most spineless worm of the century. Don't be mean. Come on, the century's just getting started. Don't call the race already. No one cares. Uh, um, oh yeah, good call. Well? Okay, it's down, everyone. Everything's all good. Wow. Hero put the bomb down, but that wasn't my main concern at the point. My eyes were glowed, glued to Monokuma's remains. What is wrong with me? I can't read or talk today. He just stopped moving all of a sudden. Was it really because something had happened to the mastermind that they weren't expecting? But what could that have been? When I thought about it. El Lucidore? I couldn't help but think back to the night before. Being attacked by that masked figure. Just a second. Hey, uh, Makoto. Eh? Hey. Don't hunt us. Did you hear a thing we just said? Eh? Huh? So, that's a no. Sorry. Hmm. We were saying, since we're done dismantling Monokuma, what should we do now? <laughs> and we've decided to continue our offensive assault. To try and uncover the Mastermind's true identity, we're going to break into the Headmaster's room. Really? Naturally. Since the Mastermind appeared to have stopped all activity, now's our chance, wouldn't you agree? But if the Mastermind comes back while we're in there... What? If you're scared, you're welcome to stay here by yourself. No one cares. Such this is a battle. A fight to the death between us and the Mastermind. We don't have time to deliberate. Or deliberate, as it were. Yeah, I mean, I don't want to have to kill each other or anyone else, but we have a chance now. Come on. So what are you gonna do? You gonna run away or are you gonna fight? Are you a man or a mouse? Or are you a horse? That is the third option. You're right. I'll go with it's you. All clear now. Okay, then. We're going to break into the headmaster's room. 
Everything comes down to this moment. Anything can happen, so prepare yourselves. No one cares. Sakura, if you can hear me, lend me your strength. I can do this. I'm a man and I can do this. I've got the will of the entire universe on my side. Some alone in the dark stuff right there. We each found determination in our own ways. When we were ready, we left the gym. Our target was the headmaster's room on the fourth floor of the school. And vamonos! Get out of my way! Rattle, rattle! Hmm. It's locked, as expected. So, what are we gonna do now? What? Isn't it obvious? We're gonna tear this door off its hinges. Wait, but the rules say... We've seen that the Mastermind isn't watching us. Those don't matter anymore. But, but like Makoto said, if the Mastermind did show up while we were in there, so in other then words, we'll just have to finish our business before that can happen. Hey, okay, sure, but what? we've come this far. We can't back down now. We agree this is what we had to do, so we have to do it. Shut up. I mean, For serious. What the heck? We don't have any choice. We're desperate. Okay. Let's do it. Let's rip this door down Actually, with muscle. Okay, but how are we going to do that? This thing looks pretty sturdy. And anybody who was ever, anybody who ever had muscles on our team is dead now. Hmm. Then we'll need something sturdy of our own. Oh, what about that one thing? The lawnmower, of course! The thing in the tool shed. Oh, so then. oh yeah, the pickaxe. I see. Interesting. That could very well be exactly what we need. <laughs> now then, Toko, what time is it? <laughs> well, when we left the gym, it was just before 9 o'clock, so it's probably 9 on the dot now. It's all clear. Okay, go get the pickaxe and be back here by 9.01. That's straight up unreasonable. But by myself? Naturally. Surely, you like to have your me time once in a while, right? No one cares. What? You know how much time it took you to say that? 10 seconds. Take too long and I'll erase your existence from my consciousness. <laughs> Friggin' weirdo. With that, Toko ran off, loud as a herd of rabid elephants. Hey. Oh, dang. An elephant with rabies, now that's a terrifying thought. For serious, though, are we just gonna knock this door down? Hm. No problem, it's solved by running away. Find your stones and be a man. It's true. You can't move forward by always avoiding danger. If you spend that's what my dead master once said. Danger, you'll never move forward. Although I don't think she's dead. I think she's just all being super sneaky somehow. Am I wrong? I don't know, probably. Even if it's dangerous, we have to overcome the challenges in front of us. Uh, um... Maybe, but I'm still super stressed. I'm so tense I can hardly talk. I'm all flubbabust. I'm totally flabbagabalabada. <laughs> and now this is happening, apparently. Gross! Where'd that come from? Wait, Genocide Jill? Where'd you come from? You called for me, and so I appear. Neither of those events took place, so I don't know why you said that. <laughs> come on. What about the pickaxe? Where is it? I was supposed to pick an axe? No, you seeping imbecile, the pickaxe. No one cares. Seriously, though, did you really forget the pickaxe? Give it a rest. Omega-3 fatty acids. That's what you need. Great for the old memory factory. But I think we already established that their memory doesn't carry over when they switch. Not possible. This is a level of uselessness I find difficult to tolerate. Mm, yes, yes. Ah, the light bulb just went on. I see. That's why I went to the garden, right? I was supposed to get the pickaxe. <laughs> All right, we've solved one mystery. That means there's just one more mystery left. One more mystery? Mm. Yep, now we just have to figure out the identity of Object X. Boy, what are you talking about? Did you already forget what we were talking about? You're like, missing out on life. I'm not missing out on life. In fact, I found one in the garden. What? What did you find? Ka or pus. Did you hear me? I said corpse. A corpse! That's right, I found a corpse in the garden. You found a corpse in the garden? I think she found a corpse in the garden. Do you think she found a corpse in the garden? I think she just might have found a corpse in the garden. Let's talk about it five more times. What? Well, what then, before we enter the headmaster's room, it appears we have something else to look into. Come on. We're going to the garden. Okie dokie. Onwards. As soon as we entered the garden, I saw it. I didn't want to, but... El Luchadore, dead as a doornail. Although, I have to be honest, I'm kind of confused by something. When we saw El Luchadore trying to attack Makoto and all of those many, 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 many flashbacks. Maybe that's what they were all for. Uh he and or she was not wearing long fake fingernail thingies. And there was a knife! Buried in the stomach, up to the hilt. What the Are they really dead? Also, why are they wearing their coat backwards? For sure, but who is it? This is the eternal mystery. Dangerhorn. 
Dangan Ranpa indeed. Just to make things clear, El Luchadore shows up, no fingernails of which to be described. And whoever that was now, they're now wearing fingernails, dead right there. Interesting. Huh. Oh, Jeff, there's a corpse hanging out here. No Are they really dead? Is this really a dead body? What? You need to begin looking around right away. However, be ever so careful. There's no telling what you might find. Okay. At first, I thought nothing of it. Just, you know, fingernails or fingernails. That's something. Okay. Mm. But, um, there's a little thing going on right about here. Correct me if I'm wrong. And I very much well, very easily could be. I will concede 112% that I am. But the only person we've seen with fingernails like that and shoes like those. Like, I can't, I can't get a full body image anymore, so I'm not sure. I, I can't, I can't actually prove it. But. Didn't. Didn't Junko have those shoes? And have fake, fake red nails? Isn't that, isn't that a thing? I feel like that was a thing. Am I reading too much into that? Or am I supposed to have noticed that? I have questions. Thousands of them, millions of them. Yep. Just throw it in the lost and found. Even a dead body can find its way home that way. Mm -hmm. Don't know why I decided to talk to you. All right, you know, let's just look at the body. We need to find out who this actually is. But there's no way to tell with the mask covering their face like that. And the white coat they're wearing makes it impossible to tell anything about the body itself. The victim is a total mystery. But one thing I do know... Is El Luchadore without fake nails on and wearing their coat in the proper manner. Is that whoever this is, they attacked me last night in my room. But why? How did they wind up dead in here? Hmm. Their heart isn't beating, they're not breathing, all signs of life have come to a complete stop. Thanks to the knife that's been driven into their stomach, their clothes are stained a bright red. Or really, a really, uh, actually, a, a fluorescent pink. It appears the bleeding has stopped, but the blood there is still wet. Be careful you don't touch it and get some on you. Uh, um... How can you be so calm at a time like this? Who is it? Their face and body are all hidden, so I don't have a clue. Hmm. I'm pretty sure it's a girl, at least. Huh? Eh, how can you tell? Well, well, I think I see the outline of her chest and just the general shape of the body. Yeah, the more I look at it, the more I look, the more I'm sure it's a girl. Really? Then could it be... Okay, then. Let's just tear that mask clean off. Come on. Wait, don't. But by the time he called out, it was already too late. Toko's hand shot out toward the mask. And in the next instant... There was a blinding light and a deafening roar. The body blew up. It blew up, 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 it blew up. Why did the body blow up? My vision started to darken. I prepared to pass out. But then! Come on. Hurry up, put out the fire! As my consciousness attempted to float away, that voice reached up and pulled it back down to earth. Someone pressed something into my hands. It was a bucket of water! Come on, dump the water on it! Okay! The upper half of the body was on fire. I took aim and tossed the water as hard as I could. Spaloosh! Thankfully, that was enough to put out the fire. And I'm going to go ahead and guess that the explosion and fire disfigured this person to the point where we're not able to look at their face. It died down, leaving behind only the unpleasant smell of burning. Yep, that's disfigured, all right. I guess I took care of it. Uh, what the hell, man? It exploded? What, what I had a bad feeling about that body, but I never imagined it would explode. And now the body? Huh. What? Not only that... We, in fact, can't, I mean, we can't even rely on dental records anymore. Okay, but, again, this helps prove my, my theory just a little bit more here. Um, again, I have no idea how this could possibly even be, Chunko. She died a long time ago, but isn't what's left of the hair on what's left of that head kind of blondish? Don't compare it to a steak. I'll never be able to eat steak again. Like, that's kind of blondish, isn't it? Blondish hair, fake red nails. I'm almost positive about the shoes. 
Now the body's charred, I really have no idea. How are we gonna find out who it was? Dental records! Look at the teeth! Who isn't here right now? Eh. If we consider who's not here, that will quickly narrow down who it must be. Um, only one. There's only one person um, missing, and that's Kyoko. It is not Kyoko. None of this is telling me, oh yeah, this is Kyoko. No, this is not Kyoko. Then that dead body it is not Kyoko. Now that can't be right. Calm down, I didn't say it was Kyoko. What? But I mean, who else? <laughs> there is one other person. Other the way. Mastermind! What? The, the Mastermind? Come on, there's no way. The Mastermind got charbroiled? Get serious. Hmm. Come on, get serious. Come on, come on. I agree, normally the idea wouldn't be worth considering. But I have reason to believe it may be true. The Mastermind being dead would explain that other matter, wouldn't it? Monokuma can hardly move around if its master is dead, right? But... That corpse is a girl, right? Doesn't make any sense. I mean, remember what Ultra Ego said? Shibbity shibbity flashback. The person may very well be the mastermind who planned all this out, and according to the files, the headmaster is a man in his late 30s. It is possible, even likely, that he's somewhere in the school right now. He said the mastermind is some middle-aged dude, right? I, late, late 30s isn't exactly middle-aged, which the corpse obviously isn't. That could mean the mastermind isn't the headmaster. Is it the teenage girl Kyoko told me about? The ultimate despair? Huh? Eh. Mukuro Ikusaba, the 16th student at Hope's Peak. What? what you, you're just diving this in. We don't know this stuff. The other day, Kyoko confided in me. She said there was a 16th student here in the school. Are you in that flashback again? What? I think you'd better tell us everything you know. Well, all Kyoko told me was, and there's the flashback. Mukuro is the 16th student. We know. We heard. It sounded like Yoko thinks Mukuru Ikasaba is the mastermind. No, the headmaster isn't the mastermind, I'm sure of that. I, I don't have proof yet, but I have no doubt I'm right. I see. There's another student here, and it's a female? That would match the body's characteristics. So, um... And that phrase, the ultimate despair, it sounds super mastermindy, doesn't it? Could it be? Okay, so the mastermind is this girl, Mukuru? And she's a student here, and she's the ultimate despair. But if she's been hiding in the school like some teenage Bigfoot... How'd she wind up burnt to a crisp? What the heck? None of this makes any sense. Did she just suddenly show up and then die? Hmm. I think we'd better take a closer look at the body. There may be some clues to help us figure out exactly who it is. Ah! ah hey, wait. What? What? Um... Aren't we forgetting something? You know, Toko? What? Oh yeah, she got totally blown up, huh? Hmm. Forget about it. I'm sure the explosion vaporized her. Nope, not only is she not injured and explosive She's not dead, she's not even injured somehow. Great. Oh, she survived. Oh, she survived. No one cares, Toko. You declared for the whole world to hear that you would never again inhale a single molecule of oxygen. No one cares. This is the strangest back and forth I've ever seen. All right, ignoring her existence right from the get-go. Okay, watch yourself, Makoto. She may be dead, but she's still a girl. Don't worry, I don't plan on touching the body all that much. I'm not Kyoko, after all. All right, what do we got here? Yep, fake red nails. There's something on the ground there. Oh, I guess I have to look at this thing first. Yeah, it does seem kind of out of place, don't it? There's something next to the body, it's... It's a key? Is it what Kyoko took from Makuma? No, the Monokuma key looked like Monokuma. This looks like some sort of fancy super key that you'd get from, like, Resident Evil or something. Modern Resident Evil, not classic. The uh, key which you stole was shaped like Monokuma. This isn't anything like that. If anything, it looks like a tiny saw. And this key is... What? What? What is it? Did you find something? Yeah, this was on the ground near the body. I've never seen this key before. What could it possibly go to? So even you don't know, huh? Hm. Makoto, I'm going to give you a very important task. I see. That key might give you access to certain areas we thought were locked. You mean so in the bio lab, the data center, the headmaster's room, and the dorm rooms on the second floor. It's in your hands. So I'm your errand boy now. Oh, good. So I get to go look and see what that's all about then. Alrighty then. I guess we'll just go to each locked door in descending order then. It's gonna open up something. The bio lab was definitely locked before. Let's try. When I went to insert the key, I found in the garden into the keyhole. The key isn't even close to fitting, which means this key does not go here. Okay, then moving right along. Turn, 
drifts. And I'm drifting. I'm drifting. Tokyo drift. Need a go kart all up in here. All right. Okay, got stuck on a door. The door to the dead center was definitely locked before. All right, let's give it a go-go. When I went to insert the key, I found in the garden into the keyhole. Click. It fits. And this is the key to the data center. I'd manage to unlock the data center. I guess all that running around paid off. I have to go tell everyone else. I immediately head back to the garden instead of going into the room like I probably should have. So you're back. How'd it go? I found out which room the key goes to. It's the data center down on the fourth floor. Then we can get into the data center now. But can we get into the data center now? But why do the now deceased have the key on them? Hmm. I suppose we'll just have to go to the data center and find out. Yeah, we should probably go to the data center. Are we going to go to the data center? We're probably going to go to the data center. Let's go to the data center. Mm -hmm. Here we are. Looks like the door is still unlocked. Um... Hey, so uh, when you open the door, there's not going to be another huge kaboom like before, right? Uh, um... You're asking that question now. Hmm. Don't worry. We have Makoto. What? In other words... It's in your hands. Again? Hmm. It means I trust you. That's an absolute lie. I'm just being used. Sigh. All right. I reached out and put my hand on the door. I closed my eyes and tried to clear my mind. With a silent prayer, I slowly opened the door. Nothing happened. After making sure I was still alive, I slowly opened my eyes. Oh, dang. Well... That's what all of the cameras are for. In a word, the room was strange. I mean, all the rooms up till now were strange, but this room had a special uh, had a special kind of strangeness. It wasn't a surface fear like the rest of the school here. The fear was lurking beneath the surface. This room was filled with that kind of dread. What? What? Hey, that's Hero extended a trembling hand and pointed to all them monitors. Look at all those monitors on the wall. Look what they're showing. Each monitor displayed a different section of the school. The dorms, the classrooms, every part of the school was covered. This, this is, what? it's the direct feed from every single surveillance camera. Man, there's gotta be a lot of cords involved in this. All the cameras in the school feed back into this room and they've displayed here on the monitors. Neat. So, that's so the sole purpose of this room is to watch us. <laughs> to watch us! Huh? And this room is the mastermind's private room, without a doubt. The Mastermind's room. I guess that makes sense. So the Mastermind was here. You know, this is just me, but one of the things I'd probably first do after coming in here is bust all those monitors. <laughs> then I think that settles it. <laughs> the body in the garden, and if they had the key to this room, it can only mean one thing. That was the body of Mukuru Ikasaba, and she was the Mastermind. Honestly, I think that might have been... Junko again? Somehow? Because if this Mukuro Ikusaba really is, in fact, the mastermind, well, the game isn't even over yet. It's not gonna end like this. Oh yeah, the mastermind just inexplicably died. The end. Da 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 da. da. No, no, that's that's not gonna happen. I'm a bit confused as to how. I mean, I I guess it makes sense. We don't know what the mastermind did with all of those bodies, so it's possibly just or he or she at this point just stored them all somewhere and someone could have found it and reused it for whatever reason they wanted, I guess. Then the mastermind is dead. Like, really, really dead. And it seems so. For serious? Too bad, no one cares. The mastermind is dead? Could that really be true? Does that mean it's all over? Nope, definitely not. Because, I mean, that body... Whatever happened, they obviously didn't die a natural death. So who, what, who was it that? But, but if the mastermind really is dead, whoa! that means we can finally get out of this hellhole. We gotta hurry up and find the exit. Come on. That's enough. Now we have to check this area thoroughly first. Huh? Eh? But what about the exit? <laughs> if the mastermind truly is dead, we can leave whenever we decide to. But right now, we need to find out why the mastermind set up this life or death game in the first place. <laughs> and I'm bothered by the fact that the mastermind was obviously murdered. What? Murdered? So you think so too, huh? Naturally. Naturally. I mean, the knife in them is kind of... Yeah. The state of the corpse makes it plain as day. There's absolutely no doubt. The mastermind was murdered. But... Why's it got to be that way? I mean, who could have even done it? Such That's ignorance. exactly what I said. We need to investigate the purpose and identity of the mastermind. I'm telling no you. one cares. The mastermind's purpose and why they were killed 
Okay, the mastermind's purpose, to be a psychotic freak. Why they were killed, they were a psychotic freak. Kind of obvious, double time. Even though I'm pretty sure that's not the mastermind. This room may very well hold the answer to those questions. After all, the mastermind must have spent who knows how much time here. Hmm. Time to begin the search! All right, what can I look at? I can talk to the peoples, and I can look at this. There's a bunch of computers all lined up. They look like high-performance PCs, nothing like the ancient laptop Alter Ego was installed on. Hmm. They're all on, but they seem to be locked. So we can't do anything? Just use your fighting spirit to force your way in. Huh? What century are you from? The Mastermind must have been using these to monitor the network and Alter Ego. Hmm. You may well be right about that, but there's no point in thinking about it now. True enough. Okay, I can also look at what appears to be a TV. There's nothing showing up on this hmm. one. Hey, look, next to that TV. Isn't that a TV antenna? How about that? It is. It's just like one of my grandma uses. It's totally one of those high-def antennas. Wait, so if we hook up that antenna, we could watch TV? Did someone say TV? You know? Well, well, Saturday morning Hena's here. Hmm. Uh, are you talking about me? Okay. Anyway, if we can watch TV, let's do it. Come on, come on, come on. You know? Ah, you're all starved for info from the outside world, huh? Hmm. All right, let me work my magic, and you'll be quantum leaping your way to TV land before you know it. I mean, I get the reference. <laughs> What's he talking about? Ah, <laughs> uh, okay, I guess he's gonna be doing that. I can look at this. There's really a ridiculous number of monitors here. And the Mastermind's been using them all to spy on us. But that's nothing we didn't know already. No one cares. No one cares. <sighs> guess I gotta talk to everybody. Yep, just getting that out of the way. So, you think you can fix the TV? No. Just a little longer. What, you really wanna watch TV that bad? <laughs> Another Saturday morning kid here. Saturday morning cartoons really aren't a thing anymore ever since they invented all cartoon networks. Even if they did try to make live action content for a while like idiots. <sighs> Jeez, I can't believe how many monitors there are. My eyes are flickering as fast as they are. What about you, Captain Snobula? Why was the mastermind murdered? Because he's evil and and we, we hate him or her at this point? So, duh. To figure that out, we need to find out the identity and purpose of the mastermind. Okay, uh, anything else? Oh, right, the, the giant Monokuma door. This door is kind of creepy. It's got a picture of Monokuma on it. What could be inside? Rattle, rattle. No luck. Um... The door is locked, huh? What if you use that key that opened this room? Let's give it a try, just in case. Nope, no good. Won't even fit in the keyhole. Mm. Nah. Yeah. Well, don't worry about it. Everything's fine. The Mastermind's dead, right? So nothing's gonna happen to us. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's definitely not the case. Worrying about it isn't gonna do me any good. He was right, the mastermind's gone, except they aren't, so there's nothing to be afraid of anymore. You know? Um, do, do, do. Oh! Oh, 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 What's wrong? Hmm. Good news for all you Saturday morning kitties out there. I think I got the TV working. Uh, really? Hmm. Now all we gotta do is switch it on. Then do it. Uh, Friggin' idiot mastermind. All you guys need to cut free from your regrets of the outside world. <laughs> They were sitting here watching TV the whole time. Never thought they could get away with it. Huh? This is... It's the feed coming from the surveillance camera monitoring this room, isn't it? What the heck? That's weird. Come on. Hey, what are you doing? Huh? That's really weird. Huh. <laughs> You're weird. But... But this TV isn't hooked up to anything but the antenna. So how's it showing the camera feed? Well... Did you try changing the channel? Uh Oh, um, good idea. Let's give that a try. Hero went through each channel one by one. But on every channel, it was just us. There was a live feed of us standing there in the data center. What the heck? Is it broken or something? Could it be? No, there must be some kind of trick to it. Some weird setup. Ah, hmm. oh, there he is. Yep, that's what I figured. Actually, I'm not sure, but... <laughs> eh? Hey, what do you know? He's not dead. Go figure. Been a while, you friggin' idiots. Monokuma? You're supposed to be dead. Me dead? Don't be freaking stupid. You're acting kind of strange. Something seems different. Of course I'm different. Evolution is perfectly natural. After all, I've been hibernating for two years already. Not even. It's been like half a day at most. How are you alive again? <laughs> oh yeah, that's it, poo hoo hoo. The look on your faces right now is sublime. That's what I wanted to see, the moment you went from hope to despair. Don't tell me you pretended to be dead all for this moment. 
Why would a bear pretend to be dead? You're the ones that blah blah blah. Yeah, nonsense. Well, now. And that's that. Well, it's almost time to cut off your past, so full of hope and begin to despair of the future ahead of you. Blah blah blah. You want I want you to know more fun in this killing game. You can't be serious. We have to keep going. You were supposed to get out of here. Get out of here? Are you still obsessed with getting out of here? How do you not get it? There is no getting out of here. And besides, this life isn't all bad, you know. I mean, there's stuff you li won't like about life no matter where you are. Are you serious? This place is the worst. <sighs> if it's the worst, does that mean you're in despair? Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I get it. You're a freaking psychopath. Ah, well, I'm pooped from all that laughing. I guess I'll just get to the point now. The point? You guys really struck gold when you found that TV. Yes, indeed. That TV is an essential part of your school life here. What? I knew it was hiding a secret of some kind. But I connected the antenna, so why is it just showing us the surveillance feed? <laughs> Look how attentive they are now. Well, then I'm gonna let you in on a blood-gushing secret and tell you about it. That TV is absolutely, without a doubt, displaying the signal coming in on the antenna. Huh? But what does that mean? <laughs> it's displaying the, the signal, but it's just us standing here. <sighs> You're so stupid, don't you get it? Fine, I'll just tell you. Else, this killing game is being broadcast live to the entire world! Oh! So not only was this like a demented reality show, you actually made it in to a demented reality show. What? Extreme. This killing game is being broadcast live to the entire world. Most popular thing on TV. Doesn't matter how many times he says it, I don't know what it's supposed to mean. I mean, even if I understood the words, I'm not sure I'd understand the deeper meaning. Live to the entire... What kind of bad joke is this? That's... That is a very rare expression, and I always feel the need to screen cap it whenever I see it can't be. Have they taken over the airwaves somehow? Oh, camera view is being no. broadcast? No way, that's impossible. That kind of overconfidence is a major weakness in your crisis management system, you know that? All I need is one weird trick that I found in hijacking the airwaves is easy mode. Are you being serious right now? Of course. I heard a kind of creaking, but the sound was coming from my own mind. Like a boat tossing in the ocean, my mind had begun to creak and groan. Hey, um... Everything has a meaning, you know. All those hints I gave you, all those tantalizing tidbits about the school's mysteries, even me luring you here right now. Why would I do any of that without a reason? It was all for my captive audience, to show them true despair like they'd never seen it before. I became the director of despair-based production. This is the ultimate reality show, the best in despair entertainment. What are you saying? You're lying. If this was on TV, the police and everyone else would be going crazy. Uh, um... Yeah, there's no way that wouldn't have, they wouldn't have tried to come and rescue us. Actually... What if they already did? Huh? Yes, but then again, it's not really any of their business, right? Sure, some people might yell at their TV to try and warn you, but who would actually come here to help? Hmm. Don't you think that's possible? I don't really know personally, though, so whatever. This can't be. But to take control of all communications like that, you need an astronomical amount of resources. <laughs> yep, so how could things have come this far? Yeah. Well, that's a secret. There's something you all need to do first, remember? What? Of course. Yeah, duh, there's a little business of... Oh, y'all can't be serious with this noise right now. A body had Holy crap. Huh? Plus trial, do you mean... <laughs> yep, still laughing. It's the file. Well... Heart -pounding I can't wait. Oh, boy. And then he was gone. Reality was incomprehensible. The truth hopelessly out of reach. All we were left with was despair. Because that word isn't getting overused or anything. We stood there for I don't know how long, frozen in place. I couldn't think. It took everything I had to just keep me myself standing upright. Uh -huh. I don't understand any of this. What's despair entertainment and how is he still alive? I'm sick of this. I thought that finally, finally we could get out of here. Yeah. To be fair, it was all your guys' fault for that, for thinking that. I mean, it was pretty obvious there was more to the story. Stop talking. Well, that part's obvious. The class trial is the class trial. What it means is that at this point, we have to figure out who the culprit is. Figure out who killed Kyoko. What? You really so incredibly dumb and unobservant that you still think that's Kyoko? What the heck? What are you talking about? I thought Mukuro Kisaba was the one who died. The victim was female, right? Kyoko certainly fulfills that condition. And if Monokuma is still alive and active, that means that the mastermind isn't dead. So naturally, that body can't belong to her, so it must be Kyoko. There's no other possibility. Uh... Other than my theory that somebody used Junko's corpse for, like, an explosive thing here. Kyoko didn't wear weird boots, nor did she have fake fingernails, nor was she a blonde. 
I don't know anything about her yet. I don't even know who she really is. To have it in like this? I don't believe it. I refuse to believe it. Quiet. Whether you believe it or not doesn't matter. The truth is the truth. If you refuse to believe, it's your responsibility to uncover the truth for yourself. Myself? <laughs> anyway, we'd better begin. But if we're gonna have a class trial, then that means the killer. That's right. Correct? It must be someone participating in our school life. I really don't think anyone did this. <laughs> You're saying one of us killed Kyoko? <laughs> Well, that's not precisely what I'm saying, no. Huh? But you just said, I don't have time to explain now. There's a veritable mountain of issues I need to confirm. <laughs> so I'm going to begin my search. If you value your lives, you'll put everything you have into this. That is how the game works, after all. <laughs> well, I'd better start by checking out the Monokuma file. Due to the explosion, the victim's identity is unknown. Convenient, that. So my idea of, it, of them just using the corpse of someone who already died makes even more sense. They were, however, dead before the blast. The victim had been stabbed a single time with a knife, which went completely through the body. They had also been struck in the head with an object about as thick as a metal pipe. The body was covered with other wounds, but those were at least several days old. So even the Monokuma file doesn't tell us who the victim actually was. How fun. The unidentified body. Could it really be Kyoko? Absolutely not. Not even slightly. No zero percent chance of that being possible. I have no choice. Gotta investigate. Have to uncover the truth for myself. No matter what, I have to find out what happened, or we're all dead. Need to get back to the scene of the crime, back to the garden. And to the garden we most certainly will in fact go to. Oh, okay, I guess we're going to be going there immediately now. I thought I was getting a chance to maybe save the game. Okay, time to get started. Need to check anywhere that might be important from one end to the other. Just need to do what I always do. And do what we always do, we will! Next time! Thank you very much for watching. We've got a brand new mystery afoot here. Someone is blowing up people who are already dead. And that could be a problem. And I am still 100% certain that this is just Junko's body. It has to be. It has to be. I guess we'll find out if I was right or wrong next time, though. See you all then.